Okay, so we finally got the GoPro going, at least uh, a little bit. And we've got to figure out how it really actually works. It is, uh, it wasn't easy. I even bought a, a book so I wouldn't have to keep stopping the video to uh, do it and it doesn't tell you enough. I'll tell you that right now. But uh, it's gonna be a learning curve, but I'm thinking it's gonna be good. But here we are. Coming out of the van, New Year's Eve, trying to get some work done. Um Ta-da, my entrance. Sheesh, isn't that gonna be something? <laughs> Here's my mess of stuff going on. Um, gotta get the rear screen to stay on, I guess, too, when I'm doing this side. It's cold, not that cold. It's not like back east. And what do we got going on here? Ooh, low light. Catastrophe. Stuff everywhere, boxes over there, tables. Buckets of wire. Oh, some leftover tamales, Christmas tamales that the office gave me. Buckets of wire. There's some sick stuff for the battery. Old stuff from the other van. I'm going to use some of that. Ah, crazy stuff. I got front end work to do over here. Oh, there's the max fan bottom. Oh, haven't changed oil yet. Oh my gosh, we're going to have to clean up, turn on some lights, see what's going on. But anyway, I'm getting excited about this GoPro thing. I think it'll be fun. Okay, this might be a cool thing to, to do. So, uh, I like these the same height. I don't want anything going down and up and doing That's how I got this was by measuring off a solid surface. So this is what I know my height's gonna be. And so I'll have to shim where I have to. And it looks like it's going pretty good over there. And then also I have to get this distance good. So I'll measure from my known point over. make that even so I know I'm a half inch out so I'll scribe a half inch down to there or it just worked out to where my gap is then push it in and then get my level quote unquote my plane directly off of my seat and my other workstation uh, just to make things all fairly good and uh, it might work out just fine. I want to cut that one back in over there to do that. But as you can see, there's quite a gap here. But I don't want it to just slope down. I mean, I just don't. I don't want that. I want it to look to, to be that. Because I could trim all this out nice and make it look good when I'm done. But uh, anyway, that's where we're at right now. Uh, so here we are. Um, insulation is up. I figured out how I'm going to tie these two in. At least in these two spots over here will be different. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What I really want to do is put the wood on and that. But what I need to do is put the stupid sticks up. I hate that job getting all these up I mean I don't hate it, hate it but this area is difficult because of the distance and then I need to tackle this I need to get the sticks up I mean gotta do it so I'm gonna drink water do some more push-ups <laughs> 
trying to get back into my routine after the operations where you, you don't do something for three or four months you you, you lose all that that you've gained it seems like not all but um you know you, you got to work back up to what you were used to doing um anyway i'm going to go ahead and tackle the last dun 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 of the stupid ceiling sticks. Well, we are progressing. I had a battery and card, so I'm definitely gonna learn this, probably gonna go out, but this is what the mess that you create. <laughs> Look at this, and then here we go out here. This is not looking too bad. Yeah, this is, this is not, not healthy. This is my little cart. I made this so I can wheel around. And I think I showed this before, but yeah, it's pretty cool. It works out good. Um, but uh, yeah, this is what you gotta stop. <laughs> Bad knocked over. Uh, but I did charge the batteries and I got them up to, uh, 1365 with this little guy. I, I did some AGMs that I had left over and some 12 volt lithium and some six volt motorcycle battery. It's a good little thing. I think it was a hundred bucks. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's time to stop, clean up. Let's see what else I got going on over here. Oh, look at that. This, this ain't too bad, but look at the mess. Yep. Take a half hour, clean up, and uh, get sanitized again because it gets in the end of the day. It's what time is it? It's five o'clock. Been at it since about seven. Pretty steady. Um, gonna clean up, do a little more, and got tomorrow. I think I'm gonna make my goal. Well, here we are back in the van. We were working on the solar in the back, and we got a big rainstorm. Here in SoCal, which is where I'm working on it now, and uh, you can see the tape. Bad rubber on the passenger door, and the glass is leaking like a sieve. It also likes to leak leaking like a sieve. So I took it all out, and cocked it, and added some screws, did all that. So I'm going to bring it in over the weekend and try to get the glass sealed because we got rain. Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, it looks like. And another thing I got done is I got the solar panels up. And it came out pretty good. I ended up, I don't know how good we could see here, but I was able to put some brackets, front, middle, and back, and a solid bar across the middle. So they're together, resting on the solid thing, and resting on this trim here. Then I added this three quarter by three quarter. It's steel. I mean, it'd be nice if it was aluminum, but it's what I got here, and I'm gonna use what I can. I'll grind these out and put the caps on them here soon. And we'll try and do, 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 get all the hardware, the stainless, or painted as we go. But I just got them covered and I got the current there. So is that, who are these Spartans? Two 200 watt panels. I, I did adjust the GoPro. Got some good uh, good vibes on that. And uh, doing some stuff in here that I'll show later. I'm going to work on that. But uh, here we go. This is uh, this is going to be the work we're doing. Got to get that glass sealed and find the rubber. It's kind of hard. More later. 
So I didn't film putting the goop on because uh, I kind of forgot all that stuff. But there's one hole in the carriage bolts will do this. Smaller than the rest is where you got that first bolt in. It's better to put the top slide in the bottom. I did that's from the opposite. And I didn't get as much push down as I think. I'm hoping this one doesn't. This one was a lot better. When I took off that old tint, this kind of factory tint, and I'll clean them up after it dries, but we'll test them one day in the rain and see what's going on. I hope I don't have to take this one off and do it again. I mean, I could, which is what I almost originally did, is just fill in this whole gap. But, I don't know, I just, you know, I'm trying to do it right. But, uh, yeah, I see good bead there, but it's, it should be solid. Tighten them up is kind of tricky, because I'm sure you can break the glass because that's a hard rubber gasket. And uh, well, we shall see. But I'm pretty happy I got that done today. And we can test it out. It's just now trying to find a new rubber seal. I have them labeled, but they say rear. That it looks like it's this one. And it's got the little foot thing on it. Not this one. So I gotta find a part number from the Ford company before I order it and find the thing. But they're, they're kind of scarce. But uh, we've got to figure out something with just some, you know, generic seal. But with my electronics in bed here, this has got to be super watertight. Oh, anyway. Right to my mess. Time to clean up, start over again, and uh, work on the solar. Now that we've got the windows at least attempted repair. Okay, so I decided to work on this area, the shower area, a little bit. Even though I got the windows done, I'm ready to, uh, the solar I'm just not into today. Uh, but I want to work on this area so I can get my plumbing going. And I decided I needed a partial partition here and all the way up to do something different with the shower curtain than I got to do. And making this, patterns for this are a problem. So I'll show you how I did it. And uh, maybe it'll help. Or maybe you guys can tell me a better way. But so what I first started doing is I took just strips of card paper one at a time. And Made the pattern close, close as I can. Taped another one on top. Did that one, taped another one, taped another one, taped another one. Did it all tie it up. I, I don't care what this length is because I can make this any size I want. And then once I got it close, I took a Sharpie and just followed the wall. Cut it with scissors again. Did it on the other side because the plug is in the way. And, uh, Took it out, then went to my template stock, which is just hard board, and traced it on there, made it kind of where I wanted it to end, did that, cut that to fit pretty close, and then once I was happy with that, I uh, Got the one I wanted to use, some leftover cutouts from all the 
boards I'm using for shelving tops. And uh, did it on there and cut it out with jigsaw. And then make it a flush. Now we just gotta figure out how we wanna attach it. Probably right through here is what we're gonna get that screw to the back side because I lifted this little dog ear on that so we could attach it and uh and we'll go from there. The next one I'm gonna make the pattern from here up. I'll make it here up here up to uh and then I'll cut the freehand this cut in place. That's why I ran along. And then have that because I'm going to I just wanted to separate it a little bit, but I wanted to leave this open because the coffee station's gonna go here when traveling because of cover and the toilet's hidden in the shower. You know, it's got everything's gotta have dual purpose. And uh, that way I could still have the little sink, a bit of water, a little bit of stove heat if I want to heat up some milk to do some latte art. Uh, and keep these cabinets separate from over here, the kind of the wet area. And I don't know if I'm going to build this and have this hidden. I don't know yet, but it's, it'll come to me and then we'll figure it out as we go. But probably, I don't know, that might be a great idea to have that kind of pop out and open this way. Cover that and then fold over this way when you did that. That might be cool. I don't know. But anyway, more later. We're going to work on this other template pattern. So here we are Sunday morning and just look at the mess. <laughs> I have got. Stuff everywhere. Yeah, it's a little chilly, but not chilly like this and that. Can't even see in there. This is try that little light thing that we got for the GoPro. Oh, it works. But look at <laughs> oh, more of this over here. What do we got? Oh over there too. Oh my gosh. So we're going to do a little cleanup and then if you can see, I gotta figure out how to zoom on this thing y'all. Um, got a piece of wood hanging on the wall where I built the panel, the divider yesterday is where the cabinets are going to start, or at least over there. Quite the process. Figuring that out was kind of fun and I think it's going to be pretty good. But again, we've got oh, drawers open. <laughs> and I complain about that too. They got this. And at least when I do clean up, tell I put off my toolboxes, portable toolbox, my saw and table saw. I all made kind of mobile. I'm trying to make everything a little bit mobile when I get around. This is the only one that I made for the forklift to do up the rooftop stuff. That little pallet and that little plastic one cut it down, blah, 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 blah. But anyway, we're gonna get to cleaning. Whoa, brightness. Uh, and then uh, start working again. It's Sunday morning, kind of enjoying it. It's a uh, countdown to retirement day is um, 1st of February. Wish me luck. More later.